So I'm going to show you how to paint like some depth into this um, using hard light. What you can do here is make a new layer, set it to transparency, grab a brush, and on this layer I want you to choose not normal, but hard light. Choose a color and you know you can pick this blue up here or like you can go like this or I can wing it and what I mean by wing it is get a blue somewhat like that but lighter a lot lighter alright now with a brush just paint and it's going to be really bright and depending upon what you chose you know it's like this had a little bit of color information into it and if you want it a little bit brighter you can Let's see. yeah it's better what I'm going to do is just paint like the tops of forms so think about like this log it's round and on the very top of the round, I'm just adding a little bit of light information there. Again, don't concentrate on perfection. Just feel that light should be in this area. I'll just do like maybe this wall and See, this is this happens after you add all the texture in, by the way. So I'm, that's why I'm just choosing to do this wall. And I'll do it a little bit here on the window just to kind of show you what it looks like if you don't have the texture information. And I'm using the the moon here as kind of a okay. Well, light hits the tops of these forms right here. Maybe. This is on the other side of the building probably, so probably not. It'd be more like what, right here? Don't let it crawl over to the sky though. Maybe I'll choose in this area. there we go so after you're done with that you can notice you could toggle it on and off but the most important thing is you can set the opacity down so I'm just using the wheel mouse here and kind of looking at it like right about right about there Okay, so let me turn that off. Flat, not flat. Boring, not as boring. Now, once you get the the absolute out of the way, you know, like this, this looks okay just the way it is. Now you can go in and paint without the worry of getting too far to because this is this is the furthest it went. So you can now you can just go like this and painting in this without worrying about it being too bright you know, adds all kinds of depth into there And you can see the one that didn't have too much texture now. See, it, looks, it still looks flat. So the texture really does help. 
let me tell you. All right, so that's how you add some some highlights without it getting too too much. Now notice there is an area in this coloring book that sticks out above everything else. Where is it? Blur your vision and try not to look at it. The whites in the eyes, right? So you never really want to add too much white unless you want people to pay attention to it. So in this case, the only white is in the ghost's eyes. All the other white kind of matches the scene. There's also different types of light. So there's hard light, which is just that. It's the harshest one. Um, I could add soft light, but you notice the uh, when you do that, it doesn't have any of the color information as much. And you have to use opacity way up. So I'll toggle that on and off. So if you like that slight look, soft light's a nice blend. And if you like hard light and the ability to turn it down to your liking, that's what that is. Either way, it adds a lot of depth. Alright, let's go on to the next video.